guys, well, we've got another Ragnarok Cometh, and this is number five. And we've got nine articles to cover in this video. So again, this is showing us we just have a lot of events unfolding around the planet now. And this is just on the environment and climate and space weather. We're not even looking at the political and the esoteric side. We're just looking at the physical manifestation for all this energy and change that we're experiencing now as we're going into Ragnarok at the end of the cycle, as the ether is coming in and shaking things up and breaking matter down. And they know, I mean, they are playing right into all of this timing. This is why they're going insane, which is why I need the planet insano files, because you're going to want to know this in about six months. Trust me on that, okay? They haven't really even started their fuckery. Just wait until Easter. They've got something special planned for Easter, let me tell you. They are not going to let Easter go to waste. But while we are also having to deal with the political front of their bullshit, which thankfully at the moment isn't really playing out in our physical environment because they have held back and it's only when they actually start to unleash that then we're going to have to deal with their energy and their um, effect to our environment too because then that'll be causal as well and adding to everything we're already dealing with. So at the moment... We can at least see the physical manifestation of all this energy. Now, the sun has been quiet, um, has really gone into flatline over the last couple of days. So we're now just processing all of the energy that we've been hit with prior to the sun now quietening. But not only that, we're magnetically and energetically locked onto the sun. So during these quiet times is when we're starting to see these um, other weather events as well, bringing in Ragnarok and the cooling of the planet. So everything is still cooling. We're still having lots of events with this cold weather and it will continue. And we still will have down in the Southern Hemisphere heat waves and the extremes coming in as well because we're at this tipping point where it's almost like the scales are going from one side to the other trying to find its centre. And so we're going to continue having these freak cold snaps and these freak hot weather events and this is where I really see people need to start lifting their guard, guard a bit and not being so complacent because especially when I see any of the information about the UK storms it's all my, almost like the media are even being evil and playing it that way to the UK people and stirring them up for events that just don't come to pass and then I feel that they do know that there is going to be a really big, severe event come and hit the UK and they're going to be totally unprepared because, seriously, I see 80% of the comments on these weather pages that I'm joined to because I do watch all the weather and I see everybody's reaction to these events. I like to look at the psyche and the collective mindset as well because I do actually look at everything as an observer, including all of the behaviour of the collective, okay, and the mass mindset because that also helps you understand where you're at and what you're dealing with. And a lot of them are really complacent and tell me when it gets here and I've heard this before and I just really think, I seriously hope you don't have children and you do actually get two weeks of fully, insanely cold weather that just comes through and just stays. And if you are not ready for that and expect people to come to your aid when they're fighting for their own survival, then really you have left yourself in a bad situation, which is why I do these videos because nobody else is addressing all of these different aspects that we're facing as we're going into Ragnarok. They're either focused on one area or another. We've got to bring them together to see how this is playing out in all of our experience as a soul, which does mean existing in the three causal planes. We don't just exist in the physical, even though we like to think so. And so 
these other events are all culminating to some really severe weather, really severe storms, earthquakes, volcanic activity is going to continue going and as we continue to see more of these extreme events we're going to be weakened because crops are failing, because animals are dying, livestock's dying, because uh, trade's been disrupted and eventually that just wears on a community till it collapses and this is what we'll start seeing and they're helping it along with the oil also being imploded. But this is what's happening with all these storms and here's another big one and the reason that I wanted to show you Cyclone Bansy and what better name for this beast and it's got an electric charge. Look at this. This is showing us that the atmosphere is definitely charging up. So that's a good sign as we're moving into Ragnarok. We do want the changes coming. Yes, they're going to mean that there is going to be severe events, but I would rather just see that all play out rather than continue on having to exist in the Antichrist fuckery and watching all of this planet be destroyed and children and innocent lives being destroyed and animals being slaughtered and just mindlessly killed and tortured and it's just needs to finish. <laughs> so when I'm seeing this, that's good. Let's hope we see more of these cyclones. Okay, now we've got um, the volcano going off. Um, at Erezu at Costa Rica. It's on alert, okay. Increased seismic activity. So everything's waking up. The giants are waking up again. Horus is waking them up. All the solar energy and how we're connected is waking them all up. It's all, it's all an organism, organism. It's all one organism. And so we have to remember to see Earth as that. She's an organism, one living organism that also is part of a bigger system. And she's attached to the sun. And she's created by the sun. We all are. Because the sun is our material manifesto that creates the hologram from the divine mind. That is what the star does, creates matter. And so when the star changes, so does matter. And this is what we're seeing. And this is why we're seeing more sinkholes. And I do have another story here of a sinkhole, but I'm making my way along all of these articles so I don't lose my place. And so we will continue to see, to see more of this activity and more sinkholes because matter is becoming unstable in some areas and in other areas it's becoming more energetic and a lot of these areas that it is becoming energetic they already know and um, are aware of. So we've got another one, um, Cam Chatka, Eurasia's tallest volcano wakes up. Okay, Giants are waking up now. And as I said in my Emerald Comet video, you can bet that this is all going to start getting a lot more intense because we've just had an energetic charge added to everything. And it's got an influence and an essence. So look out. Buckle up. Britain shivers into its coldest temperature for three years, as I said before, seeing a lot of people complacent over there. Guys, if you're watching this, I'm just saying, I know you guys are used to winter and I know you're used to the cold, but we're dealing with these events, basically, that just occur because the weather is changing and it's magnetically, energetically changing all over our planet and we are now getting rare events in places that have never had rare events as such and they're happening more often 
to. And this is the thing, even though we're seeing snow in the Middle East and we do know that it has happened before, and a lot of people then use that as a way to fall into normalcy bias by saying, well, it has happened before. What we have to understand now is the reason I'm doing nine articles is that these events are happening closer together. So there's a cause and effect that we have to deal with and when that starts happening on an accelerated level, it means big change is coming because we're moving to a tipping point. And so that cause and effect is being played out a lot faster and we're having a lot more to deal with in our environment. And so this is why it's good to know what's going on and keeping a track because otherwise you get blindsided like the zombies who are going to be completely blindsided when all this plays out, which will either be a major earth event, and I mean major, in an area that hasn't seen one before and then mass devastation, or it'll be the insane antichrist doing something like dropping a nuke. But either way, this is going, you know, towards a tipping point that has to be dealt with. And so, oh, these jellyfish. Interesting, we saw a lot of them in 2012 and they used to love hanging around the outlets of nuclear facilities. They were finding swarms of them. Now we have to understand they're dealing with the same type of energy, nuclear energy, that the sun and the radiation that's coming from the sun too. Um, which is why I think a lot of these reactors is having problems because I do think it's changing the radiation within the reactors. The particles themselves are changing and I have looked at the science that can actually support that happening. So there's no reason to say, you know, it's not when the science shows it can. The sun's radiation can affect the radiation particles on our planet. And then we're even seeing um, their storage facilities, a lot more of them leaking. That's when I started wondering whether there was this change. And then when you see these jellyfish hanging around the outlets, and now that we're getting a lot of energy coming in, we're seeing them swarm all over the coastlines, this new solar energy, because now we're locked onto the sun and the solar energy between us is changing. Not to mention the gamma ray. We have had another gamma ray burst. Um, this one was from Cassiopeia. And Cetus. And so this ties in also to the Emerald Comet that I just actually brought to you in a video. Actually, as the video was uploading, the gamma ray bursts were occurring. So again, I think we're being taught a lesson that nothing's random. That chance is just a name for a law not recognised. And this is all playing towards the end of the cycle. And if you're identifying the factors and influences, you are in a better position to steer your rudder. And so basically, that's why it helps having all this information. Because, yeah, if you're hearing mysterious booms, and this is being reported a lot more lately, this is because the atmosphere is now interacting with the terra firma and the energy under the ground and around volcanic areas um, and anywhere that there's a lot of movement underneath the ground it's going to reflect in the atmosphere so this is why they're hearing them and there's a lot of this booming before you know some of these earthquakes it's because the shifting underneath has to be accounted for above as well it's always as above so below so you'll get this pocket of mass blow out, make a, make a sound. And this is basically another good sign because this is reminding me a lot of the activity around 2012 and we were seeing a lot of activity around that time because all of these, each of these calendar years has played into this cycle and each has added its influence to the cycle and we're moving further into, it's all like on a calendar the mayor, they would have a calendar and tell us exactly how this is all going if it wasn't for the Romans destroying it all and stealing it. They would know because they do have these calendars.
And so this is just showing us with the environmental influences that we can see that we are going along this cycle quite well now. It is starting to, starting to definitely ramp up more fish kills. Again with the energy, they just can't handle it, and especially in some pockets that have got more energy coming in because we're all different. Mother Earth isn't the same everywhere. We're all actually processing this energy in a different way, you know, all reliant on our location and where we are and the geology in our location and all the different factors that go into the electric magnetics, which is why it would be helpful to have a very accurate ley line chart and have some idea, but normally I think you just don't know how these energetic releases play out. Some areas may have other influences you're not aware of. They may be on a ley line, but there's certain other elements we're not aware of that it doesn't play out as we expect. So. All we can see is that we're getting these kills all the time and they're not always connected to the radiation even though we have to also factor the radiation into some of it, into a percentage of it. Even if we do, we can quite easily factor in a percentage of these mass die-offs to Fukushima. And I'm sure it's adding quite its good bit, but it's also happening after major solar hits and when we've been observing the energy the whole time, we can see that there is a consistent pattern here with major energy hits and cosmic ray hits and then we get these fish kills where the fish are just not able to process the energy with their extrasensory way of carrying their um, their consciousness and the way they interact with the environment differently on that level. So yep, fish kills, more of them. Sinkholes, as I said, uh, this was basically um, reported in Texas. Just another area. I mean, they're just getting so common. You know, it's just going to keep going. And if you're living in an area that is, you know, experiencing sinkholes, then they're just, they're not going to stop. So you have to pretty much either deal with it, they're not going to stop or move because they're just going to get worse as matter keeps breaking down. And if you're already seeing the evidence of that happening, then it looks like maybe your, your area may just not actually sustain the energy charge it needs to and may break down more rapidly. I mean, I don't know, but I just know that when you're seeing the energy playing out in a physical environment the way you are, then you really do have to pay attention to that and it's not stopping because I know for a fact <laughs> that the solar cycle is not done with us yet and this is just the beginning of the changes in the sun and how they're going to influence our environment. So, yeah, that's what I'd just be saying. If you got this information ahead of time then you can actually factor that into your decision making. So you know you might want to just stand and whatever happens and if sinkholes come that's fine but then you may think well you know what maybe I'll look at moving to some place that doesn't have sinkholes. Maybe that's what my gut's telling me you know. So basically that's just all you really can do with information just use it to make decisions and then however that plays out then you just accept responsibility for it. So that's why I just want to be really informed so I know that the decisions that I do make, I can't say, well, you know, it wasn't because I wasn't informed, it was just that I couldn't factor in everything. But for the most part, I can see what's coming, so I'm not going to be blindsided by all of the changes on earth, I'm going to be ready for them and I'm not going to be blindsided by the ones that have got power who are laughing at us. I'm going to say, fuck you. Fuck you, I see you and I'm fucking telling everybody I see you and what you've done, scum. Be fucked if I'm going to shut down because they want to threaten us, you know, and treat us like potential terrorists because we have extremist views, fuck you. I'll have the 
same views till the day I take my last breath because that's what the information is showing me, not what the Roman Catholic Church is telling me and all of their subsidiaries is telling me and all of the laws that we live under, which is all traced back to Rome. So, fuck you. We know what's coming. Ragnarok approaches and we face it standing and ready for whatever that means. And basically that's just where you want to be and come to peace with it. And then you are ready for whatever may come. And that's just where I think everyone needs to come at that centre to be able to get through this. And that's like coming to your centre is just being at peace with knowing the entire story, not denying any of it, just knowing it in full, coming to peace with it, coming to terms with, yes, the human race has been completely fooled and taken off their path, and now that is going to bring consequences, as well as we are now at the end of the cycle that we exist in, and that also brings its own consequences. So when you come to that centre of understanding all of that and bringing it together and then just, as I said, coming to that paradigm shift and just being at peace with it, then you can just look at all of this information as an observer. You don't have to fall into fear. You just can see them for who they are and you can see where we are heading environmentally and you can just stand your ground and say, well, whatever comes, bringeth. And so that's my attitude. <laughs> so if you're um, listening to my videos, yeah, that's pretty much how I'm going to roll. So anyway, I shall leave it here for another episode of uh, Ragnarok Cometh. And, uh, and I will just continue following all of the different events that are playing out and in the group I've actually started making a post where I can link all of the different reports that are coming in from around the different places and put them in one place and then I can actually bring everything on that post um, in a video and and so hopefully you know get a video um, of about you know 20 minutes to 30 minutes with the information I can collect over a few days, basically. So I've actually decided I might actually do another series that are, is kind of a offshoot from Ragnarok Cometh that deals with the space weather because we are starting to see a lot more in the space weather and so to fit this into a video would be another 15 minutes, 20 minutes with the space weather information. So as you can see, things are certainly moving along so you know any of us having to exist in this hell hole just know that this is a really good sign that we are seeing Ragnarok approach a thing in the environment all right well I'll leave it there and I will post everything underneath and as always peace out <laughs>